This is the Inside Edge, and we're here with Eric Harlow. Hey, everybody. Director of Alpine Programs here, and he is going to talk to us today about different pathways to ski after high school. This is going to be an ongoing series with this guy, so stay tuned. Hey, everybody. Like Karen said, we are here today to talk about skiing pathways after high school. I like to think of this as the keyhole conundrum, okay? As you enter your high school career, you have big dreams. NCAA level, US ski team level, and you start to realize as you get into your high school career that it's almost like looking into a keyhole, and you're pretty far away from the keyhole. It's tough, that's a tough pathway to go, and many of you will need to find pathways other than the very top level, because these levels are very small. We're gonna talk about this. So here's your keyhole that is not the actual size. USSA and ski racing in general, we talk a lot about the pyramid, how kids are entering the sport and how we keep them in the pyramid. I don't know if you think this is a pyramid to me, it looks like an oil can or maybe an upside down thumbtack, if you will. But it's important to remember that only the very top number of ski racers in the world will become a World Cup champion, right? And that's the pinnacle of the sport, right up there. Even still, the number to make the U.S. ski team is also very small. And it's not as small as a world champion, but it's a very small number of people, okay? And that cuts off there, there you go. That's your number of kids making the U.S. ski team each year. That's typically between 20 and 30 kids, depending on the year, depending on the criteria. And when we talk about U.S. ski team, we're talking about A team to C team, all the way into D team. You see national training group come up. It's hard to know exactly where the U.S. ski team's gonna put their programming in any given year, but it is what it is now, and that's what we see. Next up, and this is what people don't totally understand when they enter high school, is that skiing at the NCAA level is also very difficult. There are 13 EISA schools in the East, and there are seven RMISA schools in the West. These are NCAA schools, and they ski against each other most weekends through the winter. These 13 schools, these seven schools, that's 20. For those of you hoping to go to college, seven plus 13 is 20. Now these schools typically each year, their coaches can pull anywhere from one to two athletes per year into their schools. So we're talking about a very small number of spots. And as many of you know already, a lot of these spots will go to a former national team member, either US, Canadian team, Norwegian team, we've seen some German, some German kids come in. So these spots are very highly sought after, and there are not many of them. In fact, that's why this is so narrow here. Many kids who graduate high school and have the ability to make an NCAA team, these kids may be knocking on the ski team's door. So it's a very small pathway, and that's what it's like. I'm looking down that keyhole. So what we're here to talk about today are additional pathways that people may not recognize. In my experience, people talk about wanting to ski in college, and to them, that means NCAA ski. Well, that's just not true. There's another level of our little oil can here, which is much wider at the bottom, and that's USCSA varsity ski racing. This is a number of schools that have great coaches, have great training, they compete in the national championships, and they compete in com very competitive divisions, both in the Rocky region and in the Eastern region. Just below this is EI or USCSA club level. Some of these clubs have full-time coaches, some of them operate with ski team managers, students that have a passion for ski racing, and these kids do the same thing. They compete at a national championship, and they have a great time doing it. The number of these schools is far exceeding 20, and in some cases, if you include both of these levels, you're looking at almost 200 member schools. Remember, this is 20, this is close to 200 when combined. The point is, there are many pathways to skiing in college. As you look here, our little pyramid continues, right, our little oil can, Here's the number of club and academy kids, and you know many of them. In fact, many of you are them right now. And then at the base of the pyramid, right, the kids who are starting this sport, they're getting their introduction to skiing and racing. These are the kids who you never know where their path is going to take them. 
Maybe it takes them into a club in an academy, and then maybe they end up here at the USASA club level. Maybe at the varsity, maybe they make an NCAA team. Maybe they, they make the national team, and they might, if they play their cards right, win a world championship. But that's not for everyone. And it's important to remember, when you're a high school student, don't just look into the keyhole, make sure you know all your options.